What happens now? Oh, sh Dude, I was not expecting that right off the bat. I was not expecting something to just be standing there. Hopeless? Hey, get back here. It's, it's unnervingly quiet. Okay, now we're on a train. Visualistically, this looks interesting. Okay, so we can pick up the gun. It's it's giving like realistic vibes to it. Dude, I feel sick in my stomach. I, I don't know what it is. Dude, this deafening silence is loud. Health benefits of not wasting your bullets. You might need them later. You never know what might come after you. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the music in the back is starting to amp up a bit. There's like a... We interrupt this program with breaking news. A man has reportedly killed his wife in the quiet suburbs of... <laughs> Police have been called by scared neighbors as they heard shouting and crying, which they thought was strange coming from their house as this has never happened before. Unfortunately, as the officers arrived on the scene, a loud gunshot was heard echoing through the otherwise quiet night. The police were unable to subdue the husband, so they were forced to open fire. Officers present on the scene have told us that the perpetrator was not responding to their calls to drop the weapon as he appeared in a trance-like state. The victim, 25-year-old Emily, <laughs> was described as being happy, outgoing, and full of life. Her husband, 28-year-old Michael, <laughs> was seen as a quiet but happy and well-adjusted man. This horrible tragedy has come as a big shock to all the people who knew them, since they have always appeared as a cheerful and in-love couple. The motive behind this seemingly strange murder is still under investigation but the police have confirmed a single gunshot wound to the chest was the cause of Emily's demise. The motive that led to this horrific act is still shrouded in mystery. Was it the sudden surge of uncontrollable anger? Or was it the culmination of a long and simmering mental? Was that exposition? I think my name is Michael. I believe I'm 28 years old, and I might have killed my wife, Emily. And I also feel like I'm going insane. We've gone through this like, what, 20 times? The same exact- except this is- What the f- What? Bro, I literally just said, I feel like I'm going insane, and this poster shows up? Okay, there is blood on the ceiling. And there's blood on this side. Is there a sprint button? Do you guys see that? There's people. Here's the thing, guys. I, I know that as soon as... As soon as I walk through here... They're gonna turn around and something... I, I don't know. Um, unless... We interrupt this program with breaking news. You are a goddamn murderer. You what? are a goddamn murderer. You are a goddamn murderer. You are a goddamn murderer. You are a goddamn murderer. What the hell? Something... Something hit this and then screeched. You can't make me do it. I won't kill. I, I just might have to. Why are you guys moving? Why are you... Don't move. You look like Justin Bieber, a little bit. Their innocent blood is on you. So what, did I shoot up the metro? A hostage rescue operation went horribly wrong in the subways of the small town of when the tactical team leader, Special Agent Michael slightly misjudged the situation leading to all 15 hostages being executed by the ruthless terrorists. Among the hostages was a five-year-old girl who was going to visit her grandparents with her father. 
The investigation that ensued has concluded that Special Agent Michael was not entirely at fault. But the families of the victims have already pronounced him guilty. This terrible tragedy has left a profound impact on Agent whom has since left the force and has been undergoing heavy therapy. The question that still haunts everyone's minds is this. Why couldn't you save them, Michael? 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 Michael, that why couldn't you save them, Michael? Why couldn't you save them? So apparently I'm a, I'm a tech, tech squad leader for Spec Ops, probably, the police force, and I guess I couldn't save them. Why couldn't this guy, dude, why you better not, you, save them, Michael? Why you do not look you normal. Save them, Michael? Your face is not why being hidden. You save them, Michael? Your why arms you save them, Michael? do not look normal. Why All right. Ob okay. What is that? Can I can I pick this up? Okay, so we have a torso. We have a leg. Am I supposed to do something with these body parts? Oh, I can pick it up. Complete me. Maybe that's what's going on here. Okay. Yep, we're supposed to find the body parts and uh, attach them. I wonder what happens once we put the body together. It's probably gonna try and kill me, isn't it? What did I just do? What? What? What's on me? What is that? I? I'm pressing I, and that thing's popping up. Okay. What? Stand up. Why can't I stand up? Ah! Alright, I don't I don't know if you can see this, but there is something hanging up on the wall over there. That's different. It just moved. It decided to just leave through the top of the train. I see, uh... You've been legging around yourself. Okay, so I can actually grab multiple body- human body parts at once. I'm gonna go back and get the guy's arm then, since I can hold multiple. Especially with this laughing, it makes me want to just kill everybody. Okay, where is the head? Where is your head? My heart is beating. it was in there. I don't know how anybody's supposed to see that, but, uh, well, I guess there was a light. I, I don't know, I just wasn't paying attention to it. Okay, it's still looking at me. Let's just leave. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shoot. Police have been called by scared neighbors as they heard shouting and crying. 
which they thought was strange coming from their house as this has never happened before. Unfortunately, as the officers arrived on the scene, a loud gunshot was heard echoing through the otherwise quiet night. Come on, open up. Okay. Oh, gee. I'm just gonna start shooting. Something's behind me, isn't it? Oh my god! We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo! That's how the game ends, then.